hello folks welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about the size and shape requirements for a generic tablet and capsule dosage forms so look at the images what do the images suggest these images suggest something related to difficulty in swallowability so that's why us fda put up this guidance so over 55 percent of people in usa experience swallowing difficulties while taking the medicines that is tablets and capsules the swallowability of tablet is affected by its design and size and shape both are critical in determining the swallowability of the tablets and capsules so so obviously the larger tablets cause more difficulty in swallowing and may even cause esophagitis which may lead to pain gagging choking and aspiration of the food track increase in size of medication is uh, associated with increase in patient complaints for tablet sizes which are greater than uh, approximately 8 mm in diameter uh, so the swallowing difficulties starts for for tablets having uh, having sizes greater than 8 mm certain certain size Uh, certain shapes of tablets are easier to swallow than others for example uh, oval shaped tablets may be easier to swallow and have faster esophageal transit time uh, than the round tablets of same weight so here are the recommendations put forward by us fda so for a generic oral tablet and capsules which are intended to be swallowed intact should be of a similar size to the corresponding rld this is the requirement put forward by us fda so uh, just keep in mind this uh, this uh, guidance is applicable only for the tablets and capsules which are to be swallowed intact and these are not applicable to the tablets meant for oral dispersion or chewable tablets so us fda expects uh, uh, the generic tablet should be having similar size and shape to the uh, to the innovator drug uh, which is rld however uh, considering the limitations of uh, generic manufacturers it has allowed some uh, tolerances so it has categorized into two parts if the rld is less than 17 mm in its largest diameter and for the rld having uh, having a dimension more than 17 mm so for uh, no for the rld having 17 mm or less in its largest dimension the generic product should be not more than 20% larger than the rld in any single dimension and the single dimension of the generic product should not exceed 17 mm this is the requirement and the second requirement is uh, that the the volume of the dosage form should not exceed 40% greater than that of rld and the uh, second criteria is for tablets or capsules uh, having having a uh, largest dim dimension of more than 17 mm in that case uh, the the tolerances allowed are more stringent and the tablets uh, the generic tablets or capsules 
in such cases should not be um, bigger than the RLD in any single dimension and the volume of the tablet should not exceed that of RLD. So for bigger tablets stringent tolerances are allowed. And this is the um, very important uh, statement given in the guidance that the largest dimension of the tablet should not exceed 22 mm in any case even though the RLD is bigger in size. So let's take an example. Suppose the RLD is 12 mm by 7 mm oval shaped tablet. In in such case, it fits into the first criteria. Therefore, uh, uh, it has uh, tolerance of 20% in each single dimension. So, the generic dosage form should not exceed 14.4 mm in length and 8.4 mm in width. And the tablet volume uh, for the generic uh, product should not be more than 140% as that of RLD. On the other hand, suppose if RLD is having 18 mm in diameter and it is round tablet, in that case the generic product is not allowed to be greater than 18 mm in diameter and its volume should not exceed that of RLD. So as we have seen the larger the tablet stringent is the uh, requirement however when, when the RLD is 8 mm or smaller in size more flexibility can be exercised uh, by the generic product developers. What about capsules? So in, in case of capsules, again the largest dimension uh, allowed is 22 mm and the largest capsule size allowed is size double zero. However, uh, if the RLD is, uh, is uh, capsule of size 3 mm or smaller, in that case uh, to tolerance of one capsule size higher than RLD is permitted for generic, uh, generic capsule dosage forms. So now we have seen the uh, size requirements of a tablet and capsule dosage form but shape also plays an important role uh, in swallowability and therefore the USF day mandates that the tablet and capsule should have similar shape or have a shape that is uh, that has been uh, found to be easier to swallow as compared to RLD. Tablets and capsules that have a larger cross section area are supposed to be more difficult to swallow as compared to the tablets and capsules of uh, having a smaller cross-sectional area. So this is a guidance about the shape of the tablets and capsules. So now uh, you uh, might have got a question. What if uh, if my AND is already approved? So uh, USFDA clearly uh, states in its guidance that this this uh, guidance is not applicable for the the uh, the ANDAs which are already on the market. However, um, those ANDAs which are which are under approval, USFDA may ask to reformulate so that it fits into the um, into the size and shape requirements of this guidance. Also, USFDA, if it determines that uh, the the product uh, which is already in the market poses significant risk to the patient health with respect to swallowability then USFDA has rights to ask uh, ANDA holder 
to reconsider the dosage form and to reformulate it and it may ask the NDA holder to do so. So hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe.